Hey everybody, Ann here, and Betty has been a bad, bad girl. Look at her, she knows, she knows. That tail's tucked down there. Check this out. I had a long day door dashing today, and look at what she did. Just look at that. You know you did wrong. <sighs> a few minutes ago. I mean, I got, I got her nose by it and scolded her, but you know what? That doesn't do anything. So, she spent the last 15 minutes out there by that wood pile just sitting out there because she knew she was in trouble. So, you know, I've gone door dashing before and she's never done this. She's never done this before. Today was kind of a long day, but... <sighs> Betty. So, I get to fix it. Yay! <laughs> Any suggestions on how to make her not do that? She's got two toys. Maybe I need to get her some more. Um, I don't know if I can block that off with a cinder block or something. Or she'll just find another place to chew. <sighs> My goodness. Yes, Mama's mad at you, but I still love you. I know, you get stressed. You're there all by yourself all day long. You're missing your Mama. But why today? What was different about today? Oh my goodness. Look at that face. Just look at that face. She is, she's a sweet dog, but man, she's got separation anxiety. Phew. So I'm going to get the insulation done. And I've been reading all your comments, and you guys are so smart. <laughs> you know, um... You're just so smart, and I wish I was as smart as all of you, but I'm not. But I am blessed by all your information. It is overwhelming. And uh, so, you know, I've made some mistakes, you know, in this whole getting the inside of my cabin done thing. Um, and I think my biggest mistake thus far is that... I didn't research enough on my own how to do this and what it was going to take. And um, I think anybody, even if they're going to hire a professional, you still kind of have a general, have to have a general idea of how it's done and what to expect and what to look for in case something isn't right. And I didn't do that, you know. Um, but, you know, I have to learn to do things for myself, honestly. So, since I didn't put too much thought into the planning of the roof, the walls, all of that kind of stuff, I'm going to finish getting the insulation, and I know, I know I can do that. And then after that, I'm just going to pause. I am not going to make the first cut on that drywall unless I know, number one, I can do it, and do it myself, because I may have to just do it myself. And number two, if drywall is the answer for the walls. It's very heavy. I had even thought, and all of these people are throwing out the suggestion of wood paneling and some other type of smaller things, you know, you can put up on the wall. I don't remember the name of all of them, but um, I am, I'm going to consider whether or not maybe I can, maybe I can get the drywall returned. I don't know. Um... I don't know if I can get it up into the van because they come in twos and I've already opened up two packs of twos so I don't even know if those can be returned so I'm gonna think about it uh, because it's such a huge job and it costs money and I can't afford to make mistakes wood paneling would be easier I don't have to paint it um, and I had already I, I had originally thought of doing wood paneling for the walls so it's kind of flip-flopped, you know, doing drywall for the ceiling um, and then a drywall for the walls. But then I thought, well, wood planks for the ceiling, and I think that might be the answer because I think that's something that I can do myself. Wood paneling, I know I can lift that. Um, 
So I don't know. I'm just going to pause after I get the insulation done. And I may have to buy more insulation. I don't know. But after I get that done, I am just going to wait. I'm going to read all of that stuff about the drywall, how to do it. And if I'm convinced I can do it, I, I may be able to get somebody to help me, you know, hold things up and whatnot. But if drywall isn't the answer, I need to consider something else. Um, all I know is I don't want to make any more mistakes because mistakes can be costly. So insulation, and then I'm going to focus on some things that I like I like to do, <laughs> like planting stuff. And it's just about that time. And I've got this stackable planter that I got from the Dollar, dollar Tree, actually, um, that I want to show you. I'll show you in the next video. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do the, keep doing the insulation a little bit by little, but then I'm going to start doing little planting projects. Um, start small and get bigger and uh, just kind of take it from there. Um, I kind of feel like I want to conquer this whole homestead right off the bat, right away. And um, I need to slow down. All of this is happening so fast and I need to slow down and just kind of think things through and learn more. Definitely learn more. You know, chickens, <sighs> I will not have the first chicken on this property until I know absolutely what the heck I'm doing. Of course, there has to be a coop and everything. So, I'm going to have to put that on the back burner because I am not going to put living things' lives at risk because I don't know what the heck I'm doing, you know. Um, I've had somebody offer me chickens, and um, I want chickens so bad, but I can't be selfish. I have to know how to care for them because they're wonderful, beautiful, productive little creatures, and they give us so much, and they deserve a mommy who knows what to do with them. <laughs> So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just need to slow down. All I know is that I thank the Lord that I have all of you giving me these suggestions and uh, telling me what to look for. And it just means so much because I need guidance. I need, I need lots of guidance. <laughs> Anyhow, I had a great day door dashing, except for the fact that I came home and Betty had chewed up my door frame. Um, and tomorrow is going to be another great day door dashing. I feel very certain of it. So, just going to slow things down, take things as they come. And I just want to thank you all. And, you know, you can really, really help this channel as well and help me by you know, subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. I mean, I know this is in the end thing, my outro, but also sharing my videos and just letting them play and um, what's she after? The mailman? No, the mailman's already came. Oh, she barks at every little thing. She barks at birds. She barks at squirrels. She's my protector. <laughs> Anyhow, so yeah, you can definitely help me by sharing the videos, watching them, commenting, even if it's just like, yay, great video or whatever, that really helps because, I mean, it's already helped. It has already helped so much since I've started doing the homesteading instead of the van life stuff. Um, it's just been an awesome up uptick in activity and subscribers and some really great subscribers too because you are just so knowledgeable. All of you are. And even, you know, the ones, the subscribers I had before, very knowledgeable, even if they're not homesteaders, van lifers, giving me, Dave, you are awesome. You are amazing. Dave, you have Ghetto Van Adventures. You have to follow his channel because he does these cool food reviews and other little DIY things. So you have to you have to follow him. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to leave a, a comment down below, but maybe, maybe I'll remember to um, leave a link or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll just pin his comment. So you gotta, you got to, got to follow him too, because he has a wealth of information. Very smart guy. Very enjoyable videos. Anyhow, I'm just rambling. You know what? I need to, I need to go make something to eat because I have not eaten all day. Well, I had like three cookies in the van when I was driving around. 
So, anyway, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.